one of the questions I get asked a lot is humic acid. It seems like it's the new kid on the block. And we're really excited about it at Green Metal Lawn Care because you guys are excited about it and believe in it. We've been using it now for two years. We're using it instead of starter fertilizer. We're using it with our fall applications. What's the difference between humic, iron, and lime? Everybody, those are like the three add-ons that everybody's trying to power up their fertilizer with. So I, I think, you know, let's take lime first because that's the one that's been in, in the industry forever and it's it's in ag, it's in lawn care, it's in golf. So so lime is calcium and, um, and, and dolomitic lime has magnesium in it as well, or your high cal lime is just straight is just straight calcium, okay. and and that's one of the macronutrients that's uh, required for soil structure as well as for for plant growth. Okay. So that is that is just like nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium, it's it's kind of the next it's it's the one macronutrient for turf grass that isn't in one of those three numbers on the bag. And, and it makes all those other numbers work better? It does. As you know, in New England, typically what we see is lower pH soil. So lime is going to increase your pH, okay. uh, which improves nutrient availability. If you have very uh, acidic soils, a lot of the, the micronutrients are bound up and unavailable to the right. plant. So adding lime is going to condition the soil. It's going to increase the pH. Okay. It's going to increase the calcium. Calcium is, is really important inside the plant. Um, because what it does is it actually aids in cell wall division, which is every aspect of growth. Um, so iron, I know you love iron, but in a for, in a certain formulation. Yeah, so iron is has been one of uh, probably the biggest like market employees in the lawn care industry for as we, long as I can remember. We bought into it. For yeah. Years, yeah, and a lot of people do. So iron, iron, the benefits of iron really were born on the golf side of the industry on, on golf course maintenance. And what iron really, uh, wh where it really has a place is as a sprayable uh, micronutrient. And what happens is that you're basically staining the foliage, staining the, the exterior of the leaf surface of the turf grass plant, and you're giving it a greener appearance. That where the lawn care industry has gotten this wrong is um, most of what you guys do is in the granular form. And uh, when you're applying um, iron as a, a granular element in a bag of fertilizer at two or 3%, um, it doesn't work the same way that it does when it's staining right. the foliage and giving you that that deep dark green uh, look for you know a period of time uh, after you spray it. So the the plant can't access it and take it up through the roots okay. and turn it into chlorophyll or turn and, it into a dark that's green what we've color. We've been told for years is that we're going to flush all this beautiful chlorophyll into the plant and you're going to get this dark dark color from the iron yeah there's there's some uh no there's good? some there's some pretty good university research that's been done by i think 10 or 12 different professors over the last uh eight to ten years that have completely debunked yeah. the whole idea of granular iron applications for turning lawns green now mind you if you have an iron deficiency in the soil so if there's if there's not enough iron in your soil for your right. plant to get the little tiny bits that it needs from time to time then adding a granular iron source can provide some benefits, but I'm yet to ever see a soil test in New England that has an iron deficiency. Excellent. So, um, so yeah, we, we kind of call BS on that one. <laughs> so tell me about the new kid on the block, but actually not the new kid on the block. Yeah. So humic acids are, they, they are not, they are, they don't fall into a plant nutrient category. So they're not a micronutrient or a macronutrient. They're actually a supplement. The easiest way to kind of describe it is that they are derived from peat bogs and they're basically liquefied peat is, is for, okay. the, for the easiest way to kind of break down right. the idea of what they are. And you've got multiple different forms of, of humic acids. You've got actually humic acids and then some of them fall into what's called the fulvic acid. And really what they do um, in lawn care and what they do in golf, they've been, they've been in golf for a very, very long right. time. A lot of the things that end up in lawn care yeah. start and are derived in the, the very high value lawns and, and grasses on golf courses. Like, like aeration. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, so your humic and your fulvic acids, they, have, they provide a lot of different functions inside the plant. But in addition to that, they also, um, they also provide a, a means of, of holding a little bit more moisture in the soil. Okay. Uh, they also provide means of uh, serving as a food source for, microbial, for microbes in the soil. Right. And as those microbial populations start to kind of flare up and feed on the humic and fulvic acids, 
they help to release and what, what we call from a scientific standpoint, they chelate the nutrients that are bound in the soil and they knock them off the soil cations and make them available to the, to the grassroots to be able to take them up. So will humic actually reduce disease pressure? In a way it can because what you're doing is um, you're, you're basically knocking all these different micronutrients that are bound in the soil right. off, making them plant available so when the plant wants magnesium, it can get it easier. When it wants calcium, it can get it easier. So okay. your plants are eating off the buffet instead of just having yeah. hot dog shoved down its throat, uh, you know, is the easiest way to kind of put it. So uh, rather than just banging it with nitrogen on a regular basis, um, which can give you those kind of sugar highs almost. Yeah, peaks and valleys. Uh, exactly. You're having, you know, kind of a more, more stable, more uniform, more well well blended diet for the turf. So yeah, absolutely, it can yeah. it can affect. Well, what what made me think of that was your description on the microbial activity and, right. and how that you know I, I try to describe to customers that when the microbes are active, it's like your white blood cells they're active, they're attacking, they're they're working against diseases and, exactly. and, and issues. So good, absolutely, that's great stuff.